Sports continuing coverage of the playoffs. I'm James Savalski. Game five set to go between these two teams that have put on a fight so far. Two teams looking starved for a win. And we are set to go. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Oh, big time hit along the wall, and this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. And he makes the save with ease. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Here's the pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Minnesota's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Congestion blocks the shot. Takes it from the right side. Turns it aside with the glove. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Minnesota's got possession here in their own end. Oh, what a hit along the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle. Shoulder to shoulder and just laid it on thick. Sends the pass over. And he slides it quickly to Pareko. Kairou's made a fantastic play, James, and he's falling to the ice. He's got the puck on his stick, and he still has the ability to lower that bottom hand and find a way to redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's tenacity, that's courage, and finding a way to compete and will your way to the net. Tosses it on to Middleton. Through the neutral zone, it goes to the middle. Club save. And they win the draw here in their own end. Looks to get the puck over to Sunfist. Poked away in the defensive end. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Takes the puck. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The game is still scoreless. Sunfist won it in their own end. Quick feed to Saad. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. The Gosian stick handling in his own zone. Dumps it in. The Blues have it from their own end. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Sods picking up steam. Neighbors takes it into the offensive zone. Gets a piece of it to make the save. And some good footwork to kick it away. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Quick shot, and there's the save. Takes a shot. Oh, they do it again. St. Louis plays well in the wing. Oh, he, here's a point away. Throw on the feet. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. Score! Sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Minnesota's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. St. Louis gains a hold of it. 
They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. What a hit on the play! Oh, my! Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags them, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. St. Louis has the puck. Moves it to Bushnevich. Thomas plays it into the offensive zone. Denies him at the pass. Oh, no, it's in. It's in the net. enjoying this one. The next goal could be a big one as we are top. Kyler has won it. Slides the puck over and tries to make a diagonal pass to Hayes. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Rossi's won the faceoff. And he passes it up ahead to Boldy. Steps into the offensive end. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Hayes. And now he moves it to Kairou. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Centering feed! And that doesn't connect. Here's a shot! And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Textbook poked by Middleton. Rocked him! Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to return. He might have a step here. All alone! What a stop on the breakaway! St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Gaining steam here on the attack. And that's a great heads up play by Johansson. Make a change, make a change. Drives it to the crease! Bennington's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. The Blues win the draw on their own end. Battle along the boards. Taken along the wall by Scandella. Here they come up along the wing. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, uh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards. The score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift, and you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. The Wild have gone up by one, and I like their game here so far tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, and now with the lead, you know that you're setting the tempo. You're really starting to dictate the play, but it needs to be a consistent effort now. One is not enough to be out front to get complacent. Painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Lettieri's gaining momentum. Sends it in on the attack. Coughs it up on the play. Broken up with a little physicality. The Blues looking against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Walker. He carries the puck up along the wing. Wax it into the offensive zone. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Hooked away at center by Bogosian. Takes the feed. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Minnesota's looked great thus far, leading here late in the first period. Erickson X won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. 
first period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And he makes the save on that play. St. Louis plays it against the boards. And that's poked away by Zuccarello. Feeds it on over to Shen. And he takes the dish. Off a stick and they can't connect. Time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one today. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh in this second period about set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? St. Louis is trailing in this game because they've had a rough opening 20 minutes, James. They haven't managed the puck at all, and they haven't been connected. When you're not connected, you have nowhere to move the puck. Often you turn it over. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Minnesota's got the lead here early in the second period. They have been the more active team offensively. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. Minnesota's looking to break out. Brodeen's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Picked up along the boards by Thomas. He says, let's get physical on that play. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. With some open space at center. From the left side, takes it at center. Moves the puck along the half wall. St. Louis has possession of it now. Moves it quickly over to Fulk. Odd man rush. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Boldy. Minnesota's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it again, how important it was going to be. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Receives the pass. Oh, what a save in front. Boldy's taking it from his own end. Quick pass across to Rossi. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Quick feed to Rossi. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Tries to the crease. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, this is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area. The puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. The Wild have come to play in a big way tonight. Now up by a pair here early in the second. Well, I love the efforts. I mean, they've been outstanding in all areas of the ice, but they got to keep the pedal to the metal, as they say, because there's a lot of game here to play. Here they are on the attack. To his teammate. Oh, what a uses his paddle to sweat it away. Driving right to the front. And he opts to wait for more support. Saad's got it against the boards. From off the wall and onto his stick. Taken here by neighbors. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Can't get a hold of that pass. And it's kicked away. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. Nowhere for that shot to go through. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Steps inside. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Puts it on now. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. The Blues finally have something to build on here in period number two. That's one of the only shifts
there's this period where they drove the net and they've attacked James. They've got to find a way to possess the puck and get more shots on net. They've been outshot this period. Puck grab by Pareko. Gives them a choke with that hit. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Gustafson's really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and voice, he's got quiet feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. Feeds it over to Bushnevich. Blaze got it in the offensive zone. Rocks him on the play. Up along the wing. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Moves it to Zuccarello. Played big in the moment there. And now he passes it to Shen. Takes the feed. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time in space there. And just crushes him. What a hit. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Minnesota's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. The Blues win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Dismiss that chance. Spurgeon's got the puck in his own zone. Takes a shot, and he was ready for that one. Kairos crossed the line and gained the zone. A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Sends it over to Hartman. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Scooped up along the wall by Boldy. And now he moves it quickly to Middleton. Misses the net and will play on. Well, you work so hard to get these opportunities, and you have to find a way to execute and take advantage of your position on the ice. The Blues look to start the transition game. And he slides it quickly to Kapanen. All alone! Can't get that one to go! Well, it's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway and then you get nothing in return. A missed opportunity. Here in the late goings of the period, it's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. St. Louis takes possession after that offensive zone faceoff. Here's a chance behind the net. Into the corner now. And puts the body into it. A little bumper car hockey. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Gets the puck in deep. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Dumps it in. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Maintain possession after that hit. Quick pass to Eric Sinek. Puck scooped up by Saad. Gain momentum up along the side. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Slides it quickly to Kaprizov. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there. Wow, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. Takes the pass. Well, I guess they weren't saved by the hell there. Uh, how's that for momentum? In the last seconds of the frame, you find a way to put it in, and that's going to create a ton of momentum. So now, heading into the next period, you want to garner that momentum and carry it forward. Oh, man, he's an incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. Thomas wins it. Here's a shot. Big stop just as time expires in the period. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments.
Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. The third and final period is officially underway here. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Minnesota's ahead right now, and that's the operative word right now, James, because this has been back and forth. This is all about high-flying offense. I know that you love this type of game. Spurgeon's got the puck. Poked away by Pareko. Angles it over to Shen. And he takes the feed. Here's a chance! Glove saved by the goalie. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Minnesota's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Erickson X won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And now it's to Zuccarello. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. And that's knocked away. The Blues will play it in their own end. Slides the puck across to Kaprizov. And now it's grabbed by Eriksson Ek. Cuts to the front. Oh, what a save! That doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. The Blues get a hold of the puck. Now he takes it over the line. Drills him. Oh, lights him up in the corner. He'll feel that one. Here he is, shot right in front. Came up with a nice save. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Straight up the middle, here they come. Middleton scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. The Blues gain control of the puck. The Wild have it in their own zone. And that's kicked off in the neutral zone by Sykes. Quick stop! Oh, what a save by Gustafson! Scores! It's in the back of the net! And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in his playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. The Blues have suddenly put themselves into striking distance to even things up here in the third. And it's tough when you're on the other side of this. You can feel the wave coming and you're not sure how to stop it. So they have to find a way to continue the pace and put them on their heels and just attack the net. the puck. Gets the puck over to Bogosian. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. The Blues played along the wing. Fires it! Scores him on the play! And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. More than half the frame has been played here. The Blues have answered back in these last few minutes but still need one more to even the score. Catch it along the wall by Scantella. Puck picked up by Walker. Oh, what a stick save! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Face off looming as both centers get into position. Plays won the face off here in the offensive zone. 
sends it deep inside the offensive zone. And the puck's booted away. Pass to Torpchenko. Handles the pass in the middle. Here's a short pass to Torpchenko. And it's a quick pass to Scandella. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. There's another for the hit parade. Moves it quickly over to Maroon. Lettieri sliding the puck behind the net. Denies that opportunity. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Quick feed to Poldy. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Puts it on the He scores! What a goal! to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Minnesota's in the driver's seat now, up by two in this third period. Oh, yeah, and it's been a consistent effort from start to finish here, James. Now they got to make sure that they play this last little bit the same way they started. Aggressive on the puck, but be cautious when they need to. Sometimes the simple play is the effective one. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Pyro's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Taken by Boldy. They go on the attack through center. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Along the right wall, up, heading to the offensive end. And he makes the easy save. And that pass attempt is deflected. Scores! And a quick strike here puts them right back into this one. Well, the game opens up here now, James, as they're within one. And if they can continue this press, they can get the equalizer. You've got to believe that they can do it right now as you feel the momentum shift. an opponent when you know that that team is coming and they're a wave. There's a lot of urgency and they're a dangerous team right now. Poked around the offensive zone by Eriksson Ek. Moves it to Kaprizov. Puck grab by Eriksson Ek. With possession along the wall. All making his presence felt through their head. going to the frame. St. Louis still needs one more goal in order to even things up. The Blues win the draw. Great use of the twin as he pokes that one away. Coming to the slot. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. The Blues have the puck in the corner. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Heads to the back of the net. Picked up along the boards by Rossi. And the puck skips off the glove. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Falk. Puck scooped up by Bucinavich. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Spurgeon. I'm not sure how he picked up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Zuccarello's got it in the defensive end. Carries it across the line. Fires it down the ice. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Sends it quickly to Neighbors. Along the half wall with the puck. And you can hear these fans calling for a shot in the dying seconds. Extra.
extra attacker on the ice. Big face off here coming up. And off the draw, they win possession. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Pareko. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. Well, somebody's clearly not ready to go home just yet here. Series. Another response game, James. I mean, they're staring down elimination, and they put together a... Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Good night, and we'll see you next time.